Forces Vietnam Network presents another exciting episode of the life of the most fantastic crime fighter the world has ever known. Well, in our last very exciting episode, the wonderful white-winged warrior wearing his Uncle Bernie's Roosevelt Bluff Rider uniform, the zipper on the back of my chicken suit is off the track, had finally tracked the Hummer, that crown prince of wordless silly melodies, to the great Midland City department store. Uh, pardon me? Yes? Is this automotive accessories? It certainly is. Well! The diabolical Hummer has at last been uncovered. Uh-uh, don't touch that dial. There's excitement galore coming up in the next hour when you'll hear... <laughs> ...during another exciting episode of Chicken Man. He's everywhere! He's everywhere! The most fantastic crime fighter the world has ever known. Ah, don't touch that dial. There's excitement galore coming up in the next hour when you'll hear Miss Helfinger say to the police commissioner... Hey. Uh, yes? Get your cotton-picking hands off my typewriter. Oh, sorry. During another exciting episode of Chicken Man... He's everywhere! He's everywhere! The most fantastic crime fighter the world has ever known. Ah, uh, don't touch that dial. There's excitement galore coming up in the next hour when you'll hear the police commissioner of Midland City tell his secretary... Uh, I think I'm going to lunch. ...during another exciting episode of Chicken Man. He's everywhere! He's everywhere! The most fantastic crime fighter the world has ever known. Ah, uh, ah, uh, don't touch that dial. There's excitement galore coming up in the next hour. When you'll hear Miss Helfinger say... Are you leaving? Oh, uh, yes, I am. Well, don't use the... During another exciting episode of Chicken Man... He's everywhere! He's everywhere! The most fantastic crime fighter the world has ever known. Uh-uh, don't touch that dial. There's excitement galore coming up in the next hour when you'll hear... Well... During another exciting episode of Chicken Man. He's everywhere! He's everywhere! The most fantastic crime fighter the world has ever known. Ah, uh ah, -uh, don't touch that dial. There's excitement galore coming up in the next hour when you'll hear Mildred, the masked mother, say to her son... And who do you think was dressed up as the grandmother? Uh, Goldilocks? No. Not the wolf? Yes. Oh, boy. During another exciting episode of Chicken Man. He's everywhere! He's everywhere! The most fantastic crime fighter the world has ever known. Uh-uh, don't touch that dial. There's excitement galore coming up in the next hour when you'll hear the police commissioner of Midland City tell his secretary... Well, I'm back from lunch. During another exciting episode of Chicken Man. He's everywhere! The most fantastic crime fighter the world has ever known. Ah, uh -uh, don't touch that dial. There's excitement galore coming up in the next hour when you'll hear... Uh, up, up, and away. Oh, boy. During another exciting episode of Chicken Man... He's everywhere! He's everywhere! The most fantastic crime fighter the world has ever known. Uh-uh, don't touch that dial. There's excitement galore coming up in the next hour when you'll hear the police commissioner of Midland City tell his secretary... Uh, I've got to leave the office for a second. I'm back. During another exciting episode of Chicken Man... He's everywhere! He's everywhere! The most fantastic crime fighter the world has ever known. Ah, uh, ah, uh, don't touch that dial. 
There's excitement galore coming up in the next hour when you'll hear Mildred, the mask mother, say to her son, Go to sleep, my baby. My uh, ba- Mommy. Yes, Benton. I think I could sleep if you'd stop for a while. During another exciting episode of Chicken Man. He's everywhere! He's everywhere! The most fantastic crime fighter the world has ever known. (laughs) And now, speaking to you on a matter of urgent importance, here is the police commissioner of Midland City. Thank you. I will... The commissioner will speak to you directly from his office in City Hall. Ah, yes. Here from my office in City Hall... Thank you, Commissioner. For copies of the Commissioner's speech, write to speech in care of Midland City Hall. This program was recorded. Hello there, crime-fighting fans. This is Chicken Man. Stay tuned for the exciting story exclusively on ZYQ. Benton Harper, employed as a shoe salesman for a large downtown department store, spends his weekends, his only two days off, striking terror into the hearts of criminals everywhere as the white-winged warrior called Chicken Man. How did it come about that Benton Harbor weekend-winged warrior selected the visage of the chicken in his crusade against the forces of evil? Now it can be told. Yes, may I help you? How do you do? I'm looking for a costume. What did you have in mind? Something that will strike terror into the hearts of criminals everywhere. I see. Well, how about this? Hmm. No, I don't think so. Why not try it on? Very well. Here, I'll help you. Thank you. Mm. There you are. Now, take a look in the mirror. Hmm. Not bad. I wonder if you would permit me to conduct a quick experiment outside this store. Certainly. Pardon me, sir. Yeah? Are you by chance a vicious criminal? Uh Uh-huh. Fine. Would you take a look at this costume I'm wearing? Yeah. Do you feel anything strange? Uh... Anything at all? Uh, yeah. And what is that? I'd, uh, like to kiss you. Kiss me? Yeah. How do you account for that? Because you look like an adorable bunny rabbit. Well, how did it go? What else do you have? A uh, teddy bear and a chicken. A teddy bear? It'd be cute. Wrap up the chicken, please. The office of the police commissioner of Midland City. Yes, come in. Uh, commissioner? What? Oh, yes, I am. My name is Benton Harbor. He carries in his right hand a large suit. Case. Put down your large suitcase, Mr. Harbor, and tell me what I can do for you. Monday through Friday, Commissioner, I am regularly employed as a shoe salesman for a large downtown department store. Yes. However, my weekends will be free, and therefore I will be available to you as the most fantastic crime fighter the world has ever known. And you will be known as... I will be known as Chicken Man. <coughs> Miss Helfinger, please bring your notepad and pencil and come into my office immediately. Yes, sir. Thank you for coming so quickly. Miss Helfinger, this is Mr. Benton Harbor. Hello, Miss Harbor. No, I'm Miss Helfinger. You're Mr. Harbor. Oh, yes. How do you do? Please take a note, Miss Helfinger, that Mr. Harbor will be available on weekends to fight crime as... Yes. Chicken Man. Chicken Man? Chicken Man. Benton Harbor opens the large suitcase. He removes from it a strange costume covered with thousands of tiny feathers. Immediately, he begins climbing into it. Would uh, somebody give me a hand? Of course. Certainly. Just hold on the luck wing, please. That's it. Uh, fine. There you go. Miss Helfinger, we'll need to know how to get in touch with Mr. Harbor. Uh, I'll be right wing. May I have your phone number, Mr. Harbor? Of course. Watch the feathers, please. My phone number is... No well. One. Born this day in Midland City, the white-winged warrior who will strike terror into the hearts of criminals everywhere. Would somebody want to get my zipper back there, please? Yes, of course. Oh, watch it back there. In our last episode, if you'll remember, in the office of the police commissioner and before members of the press, Chicken Man had leaped from the top rung of a stepladder, intending to wing his way through an open skylight in a dazzling display of his flying agility. However, as you'll also recall, the feathered fighter tripped on his left wing while climbing the ladder. Unbeknownst to him, this had caused a slight tear in the left wing, and as a result... The winged warrior found himself winging backward into... A closed window in the commissioner's office. 
Much later, in the commissioner's office. Yes, commissioner. Miss Helfinger, would you please bring your scotch tape and come into my office immediately? Thank you for coming. Now, would you please take the tape into that broom closet over there? Certainly, Commissioner. Yes? It's Miss Helfinger. Come in, please. Would you close the door? All right. Now, may I have the scotch tape? Yes. It's rather dark in here, isn't it? Yes, I have my cigarette lighter. Oh, yes, that's much better. Now, if you would, Miss Helfinger, take this piece of tape. You'll notice a slight tear under the left wing. Oh, yes. Could you please? Yes, there you are. Hmm, thank you. Now, if you'll stand back, please. Oh, yes, that's fine. Thank, <coughs> thank you for uh, helping. <coughs> are you smoking, Miss Helfinger? No. Strange, something seems to be burning. Oh, pardon me, feathered fighter, but I believe that you're up the wing. <coughs> <coughs> yes, <coughs> you're right. Perhaps if you... <coughs> That doesn't seem to be helping. No. <laughs> Clap harder, wing warrior. I'm clapping, I'm clapping. Good grief. <laughs> well, does this mean fried chicken in the commissioner's broom closet? Will the Midland City Fire Department reach the winged warrior before his goose is cooked? How will all of this affect the feathered fighter's vow to be fair to Midland? It's night aboard a commercial jet airliner, aloft high in the sky. Uh, say, stewardess. Yes, sir. I think there's somebody knocking on the door of your airplane. Why, that's impossible. See, I told you. The surprise steward is quickly issuing oxygen masks to the passengers and depressurizing the cabin, unlocks the massive jet door, and as it slides open... Hello there. How do you do? May I uh, step in, please? Well, I... I'd appreciate your deciding quickly because keeping up with your speed is rather taxing to me. Oh, of course. I'm sorry. Come in, please. Thank you. Oh, that's better. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Chicken Man, the wonderful white-winged weekend warrior, the fantastic feather fighter, perhaps my identity card. Oh, thank you. Welcome aboard Allied Flight 417, bound for Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, and New York. Yes. Our cruising speed is That's probably... That's uh, fine. However, I won't be staying. You see, I wonder if I could just borrow a map. Yes, right here it is. Fine. I'm uh, looking for uh, Minneapolis. Well, right here is where we are. Yes. And there's... Chicago. And here's yeah, Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Uh, that's strange. I thought it was down here. No, that's Yucca Flats. A lot of people make that mistake because Minneapolis looks a lot like Yucca Flats. <laughs> yeah. I have a cousin in Yucca Flats. Oh, how nice. Yes. You may have this map if you like. Well, that uh, won't be necessary. <clears throat> well, goodbye for now. Thank you for your help. Goodbye. Will you be fighting crime in Minneapolis? No, I'm the uh, guest speaker for the Minneapolis Poultry and Egg Association. Oh. Bank. Well, so long for now. Have a nice trip. Thank you. Well, can the white-winged warrior recover his lost time this night? Will the Minneapolis Poultry and Egg Association banquet begin without him? And if so, will the feathered fighter ever be invited to be the guest speaker again? Benton Harbor, a shoe salesman for a large downtown department store Monday through Friday, spends his weekends, his only two days off, waiting at home for that call to swift action as the fantastic feathered fighter, Chicken Man. Hello. Mr. Benton Harbor, please. And who's calling, please? The police commissioner of Midland City. Oh, dear. Is Benton in some kind of uh, trouble? No, you see... Oh, you can tell me. I'm his mother. Benton Harbor, get down here. Uh, Mrs. Harbor. Yes? You see, your son Benton has volunteered to fight crime on weekends as the fantastic feathered fighter Chicken Man. Isn't he a good boy? Yes. Ever since he was a little fellow 
Oh, he's been helping people. Is that for me, Mother? Pardon me, officer. What's this chicken man business, Benton? Oh, well, I'll be right with you, Commissioner. Benton Harbor, you are not leaving this house without your mother. Now, Mother. Now, I've been with you through the good years, and I'll be with you through the bad years. Oh, yes, and I will not leave you. You're hurting my arm, Mother. First, I'll make you a good breakfast. Some uh, Commissioner. Nice eggs and yes. Bacon and some I wonder if you would object to my nice mother coming along. Well, will the commissioner consent to Chicken Man striking terrific terror into the hearts of criminals with his mother along? And even more important, in a rumble, how good is the old lady? The office of the police commissioner of Midland City. The commissioner has called a press conference. Ladies and gentlemen of the press... Today you've been called here to witness with your own eyes the dazzling speed with which the feathered fighter is able to leap into action once he is summoned by this office. All right, Miss Helfinger. Yes, Commissioner. Immediately, the Commissioner's attractive secretary picks up a yellow telephone on the Commissioner's mahogany desk. Ladies and gentlemen, please do not panic at what I'm about to tell you. In exactly 60 seconds, a time bomb planted by my staff in the basement of this building will automatically explode. Yes, yes, a very real and dramatic gesture, perhaps, but only to impress upon you the great dispatch with which the feathered fighter answers my summons. Now, Miss Helfinger. 10.01.30. Mr. Harbor is racing at top speed to this office from his residence eight blocks from here. 10.01.35. Is now leaping up the front steps of this building. Keep your eye on my office door, ladies and gentlemen. 10.01.40. He is now lunging down the corridor of this building. 10.01.43. He is quickly rounding the corner and rapidly approaching this office. 10.01.46. Mr. Harbor is reaching for the doorknob of this office. Uh, 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 hello? Hello, Wind Warrior. 10.01.50. Mr. Harbor enters the broom closet where he dons the costume of the feathered fighter, the wonderful white winged weekend warrior, Midland City's crushing answer to lawlessness and or evil. Uh, 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 Miss Helfinger, yes. would you quickly see what seems to be taking... Of course. Foreign clothes. A commissioner? Yes, what is it, Miss Helfinger? It's Mr. Harbor's costume. It uh, didn't uh, come back, uh, Commissioner. It only had to be pressed. Uh, when did you assemble it? <laughs> Last Thursday. <laughs> well, it shouldn't take that long <coughs> for pressing, should it? I know. <coughs> Watch it, Miss Helfinger. <coughs> Thank you, Feathered Fighter. Oh, should I call them, sir? <coughs> I would, uh, certainly. That seems to me to be very bad service. You know what I mean? Well, <laughs> does this mean the Feathered Fighter's costume has been lost at the cleaners? And if so, will Midland City ever use them again? Benton Harbor, a shoe salesman for a large downtown department store Monday through Friday, reports each weekend his only two days off to the office of the police commissioner of Midland City for a call to action as chicken man. Well, good morning, Miss Helfinger. Oh, uh, good morning, feathered fighter. Well, once more, I'm here to strike terrific terror into the hearts of criminals everywhere as mm -hmm. we... I say I am... A... Uh, yes, yes, I know. <clears throat> well, I will now don my brilliant plumage so that in the event there is an outbreak of lawlessness and or evil, I will be at the ready to leap into action as... I... Look, if you don't mind, I have a lot of work to do. Oh, I'm sorry, I... <clears throat> Miss Helfinger? Yes, Commissioner. Uh, good morning, uh, Commissioner. Oh, uh, good morning, winged warrior. Miss Helfinger, would you retype this part of my speech, please, right here? Well, I'm here to strike terrific terror into the hearts of... Not now. I'm working on a speech. Oh, I'm sorry. This section here, Miss Helfinger. Oh, this part where you say I don't know who he is, but I do know this. Yes, right there. And Miss Helfinger, would you please have this coffee warmed up? Of course. <clears throat> Perhaps I can be of help to you with that coffee, Miss Helfinger. Oh? Yes, as you know, I carry a portable hot plate for my eggs. Oh, well... Uh... Yes, I always have it with me, so we'll just place the coffee on it and... One, Very two, three. nice. <laughs> Very nice. 
You're looking very attractive this morning, Miss uh, Helfinger. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, pardon me, weekend warrior. Are you uh, smoking? Why, no, I'm uh, <coughs> not. <coughs> yes, you are. <coughs> yes, I am. <coughs> it's your right wing this time. <coughs> yes, it is. <coughs> perhaps if you... Yes, perhaps if I did. <coughs> Good grief, not again. <coughs> it is right wing this time, sir. <coughs> Perhaps if you would try... He's slapping, he's slapping. <laughs> well, won't the Midland City Fire Department be surprised again? What will they say to the commissioner? What will the commissioner say to them? And will Miss Helfinger be able to stay in the room while they say it? The office of the police commissioner of Midland City. Yes, this is the commissioner. What? Where? Hold on. Yes, commissioner. Quickly, Miss Helfinger, we must summon the fantastic fighting fowl. Who? The wonderful weekend. Oh, uh, all right. That vicious and evil monster, the Strangler, has been seen. Fine. I'll call the feathered fighter. Immediately, the commissioner's attractive secretary picks up the special yellow phone on her distressed oak desk and makes contact with the white-winged warrior. Hello, Benton Harbor here. This is Miss Helfinger, sir. Would you quickly take this address? Yes. The 1400 block of East 16th Street. Where is that exactly? Two blocks east of West 14th Street. Two blocks west of... Oh, darn. Hello? I uh, broke my pencil here. Sir? I'll have to get another pencil. What? I'll be right with you. A feathered fighter. Are you there? Yes, I have it now. That's the 1400 block of... East 16th Street. Two blocks east of... West, West 14th, 14th Street. Street. Yes, I think I have it. 1400 block of East 16th Street and... Hello? Hello? Oh, boy. Yes, Miss Helfinger? I gave him the address, Commissioner, but he hung up before I could tell him why he was going there. Hello? Why am I going there? To look for the Strangler. Would you spell that? S-T-R-A-N-G-L-E-R. Okay, S-T-R-A-N. Several hours later, in the 1400 block of West 16th Street. How do you do? Could you uh, tell me where a Mr. Strangler lives? Strangler. Uh, yes, that's uh, spelled... My uh, name is Strangler. Oh, well... That's pretty close, isn't it? May I uh, come in? Uh... Why, of course. What an attractive costume. Oh, thank you. You see, uh, Mrs. Uh, Strangler, the commissioner's office sent me over here on simply a routine matter. Oh, and... interesting. Would you like a little drink? And uh... it's Miss Strangler. Oh, uh, isn't that nice? Yes, I uh, suppose so. Well, is Strangler but only another way to say Strangler? Will Stringler or Strangler offer a stinger? Or will Stringler or Strangler be stingy with her stingers? In our last exciting episode, as you'll recall, Midland City's crushing answer to lawlessness and or evil had deliberately and fearlessly walked straight into the house of the Strangler. That Strangler, Miss Strangler, feathery fellow. Feathered fighter, Miss Strangler. I must ask that you submit to a few terse questions. Therefore, I will ask you to take this terse test. Terse test question one. Have you ever, will you today, or tomorrow, or perhaps next week, or within the foreseeable future, commit a cowardly criminal act? Speak right into my beak. It contains a tiny tape recorder. Oh, like this. Yeah, like this is good. I have never performed a cowardly criminal act. In my life. Hey. <clears throat> a very pleasant answer. Pardon me while I check my terse test. If the prospective cowardly criminal answers no to question one, eliminate questions two through seventeen. How many questions are there? Seventeen. Oh, well, why don't we try our luck with them anyway, feathery fellow? Well, I'm not sure that would be uh, useful, uh, Miss uh, Beak, because... Call I'm... me Monique. Monique Strangler? Yes. Well, you see, the questions just wouldn't apply here because... Uh, well, try me, lover. Uh, I mean, like, for example, question number two. Yes? Uh, 
Are you sorry you did this bad thing? <laughs> you see, it's ridiculous. Oh, you're flapping your wings. Yes, that's exactly what the feathered fighter is doing. As he turns and... <laughs> quickly exits the Strangler home. Well... If Monique Strangler isn't the monstrous Strangler, then what's going on here? And what is question number three? A monstrous and vicious Strangler stalks Midland City and the white-winged weekend warrior. Midland City's crushing answer to lawlessness and or evil is prepared to strike terror into the criminal's cowardly heart as soon as he finds it. <laughs> This is the Commissioner, Miss Helfinger. Have we a report on the Feathered Fighter's encounter with the Strangler? No, sir. The Wing Warrior hasn't checked in yet. This is the uh, Wing Warrior checking in. Oh, hello, Wing Warrior. <coughs> what was all that about? Miss Helfinger, have you forgotten the telephone security check? What? To establish that I'm not an imposter? Must we go through with that? Miss Helfinger, if we ignore the established procedures that we have set up, we are flying in the face of the best law enforcement methods. All that right, men... all right. Go ahead. Why did the chicken cross the street? To get to the other side. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Uh... Hello? Is that one of the questions? Yes, your answer, please. The egg. Wrong. The chicken. Wrong. We'll go on to the next question. Listen, this was your idea. I don't remember a question like that. It's your security list. You wrote it. Well, that's a stupid question. I'm changing it now. To what? To what is 244 divided by 12. All right. What's 244 divided by 12? We'll make it a question like that, for example. Well, I've got work to do. What about the strangler? Oh, yes. How are we spelling that again, Miss Helfinger? S-T-R-A-N-G-L-E-R, -E strangler. Now, are you saying strangler or strangler? Strangler. 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 Strangler? Strangler. 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 Well, can the weekend warrior get this mess strangler, strangler settled? Benton Harper works as a shoe clerk Monday through Friday for a large downtown department store in Midland City. However, on weekends, his only two days off, he dons the weird costume of a fantastic feathered fighter to strike terror into the hearts of criminals as Midland City's white-winged weekend warrior chicken man. <laughs> In today's exciting episode, we find the feathered fowl after a fruitless search for the vicious strangler on his way back to Midland City Hall. All right, step to the rear of the bus, please. Does this bus go to Midland City Hall, driver? Ah, uh, yeah, it does, Mac. Thank you. Pardon me, madam, is the seat taken? No. Thank you. Hey. Yes. Watch what you're poking those wings, will you? I'm sorry, I didn't realize it's doing that. Hey, ain't you chicken man? Yes, I am. That's what I thought. Listen, let me ask you something. Of course. How come if you're chicken man, you don't fly instead of taking the bus? Well, you see, I believe it is my sacred duty to use my rare gift only when striking terrific terror into the hearts of criminals. You can't so fly, can you? No, you see, it's not that. Hey! Yeah. You know what you McCord here can't fly? No kidding. Hey, hey. Yeah? You know what you McCord there can't fly? He just told her. <laughs> What's the wings for then? What's the wings for then? Yeah. What's the wings for then? Good citizens, allow me to explain. I do fly. However, yeah. <laughs> No, it is it is my conviction that I should only during times of criminal. Yeah. Yeah. Jump off the bridge! Good, citizen, good citizens, I understand your point of view. However, you must understand my point of view. Well, how's the feathered fighter going to handle this little twist of fate? Consider his alternatives. Can he run? Yes. Can he jump? Yes. Can he swim? No. And more important still, can he fly?
exciting episode, the white-winged weekend warrior was on his way by bus to Midland City Hall when he was suddenly and angrily attacked by his fellow passengers. At the request of the passengers, the bus driver stopped the bus on the Great Midland City Bridge. And then the fantastic feathered fighter, with the passengers in pursuit, climbed to the top of the steel span, where... Winged warrior, can you hear me? Yes, Commissioner. It's your mother. We brought her to see you. Is that okay, sir? I don't want to see my mother. It's all right, Commissioner. I'll talk to my boy. Benton Harbor, get down here. Oh, Mother. Who do you think you are? I am the fantastic feathered fighter, the white oh, wing stoic. warrior, Midland City's pressing answer. What are you doing up there? I'm waiting for the crowd below to disperse, Mother. Why are all those people shouting for you to jump? Because that's what they want me to do. What for? What did you do? They want to see me fly, Mother. Well, that's ridiculous. Well, certainly. That's why well, I'm why don't you fly for the people? Mother. Mother, nothing. Fly. Mother, my flying is a sacred and great gift. I cannot sit oh, you. Oh, shut up and fly. Sit in harbor, you fly right now, or I'll come up there and give you a smack you'll never forget. But I said... Smack I... your wings. I'm laughing. Now jump. Mother. I said jump, Benton. I'm jumping, I'm jumping. Isn't it like a chicken? Fuck, fuck. Well, how can Midland City's crushing answer to lawlessness and or evil refuse to obey his mother? At this moment, as millions of children observe this drama, will the feathered fighter fly? What do you think? It is night in Midland City. On the 14th floor of the great Midland City Hotel, Mr. and Mrs. Harry Rumford of Dubuque, Iowa, are retiring for the night. Good night, Harry. Good night, Mama. Harry? Yeah? Do you hear what I hear? Yeah, it's a tapping sound from outside the window. Maybe you better look, Harry. Okay. Mona? Yeah, Harry? There's some big bird out there flying around. It's tapping on our window. What is it? A raven? I don't know. <laughs> Mona? Yeah? I think it's talking to me. The bird? Yeah. What's it saying? I can't hear. I'll open the window. Were you talking to me, bird? Yes, I was. What did you say? I wonder if I might use your telephone. Uh, Mona, the bird out here wants to use our telephone. Local or long distance call? Local. Okay, come on in. Thank you. My name is Chicken Man. I am Midland City's White Wing Warrior. Oh, my name is Rumford Dubuque. The person in the bed there is Mrs. Rumford, my wife. How do you do? Hello, Bird. Here's the phone. Thank you. This will only take a moment. I didn't have any change. Oh, hello, Mother. This is Benton. Benton Harbor, your son. Yes, I'll be getting home late tonight, Mother. I just wanted to let you know. Fine. Thank you. Goodbye, Mother. Well, thank you very much for the use of your telephone. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Thank you again. Harry. Yeah? Wasn't it funny he had to call his mother? Listen, birds do a better job of raising their kids sometimes than people do. <laughs> yeah. Good night, Harry. Good night, Mona. Well, just how late does the white-winged warrior plan to stay out this night? I mean... Doesn't the feathered fighter need his rest? Only the police commissioner of Midland City knows that Benton Harbor, Monday through Friday shoe clerk for a large downtown department store, is actually the white-winged weekend warrior chicken man. And if for any reason the commissioner must summon the feathered fighter while he's working at the shoe store, a secret contact procedure has been established. Here it reviewed now by the commissioner and his secretary. One... I will send into the shoe department a 57-year-old woman dressed in a full-length black evening gown. Two, she will ask for Benton Harbor, and she will say to him... I'd like to try on a pair of men's brown loafers, please. To which he will answer, how big are your feet? And five, she will reply... Let me try size 11 and one-half, double A width. Yes, clever contact procedure that. 
For it is hardly ever possible that a 57-year-old woman would wear a double A width in a man's brown loafer. May I help you, madam? Yes. I'd like to try on a pair of men's brown loafers. How big are your feet? I beg your pardon? What size? I wear an 11 and one half double A. This way, please, quickly. Thank you. Isn't this the stock room? Yes, we won't be seen here. Well, why shouldn't we? May I see your I'm bold button, please? Well, yes. Yes, it looks like a real bold button. Well, why shouldn't it be? This way, please. What? Step into this broom closet. Why should I step in? Don't argue. Oh! Get in. Now, if you'll turn the other way. Well, why should I turn the other way? What are you doing, young man? I am undressing so that I can put on my book. <coughs> my feather fighters. <coughs> costume. Well, that was a close one, wasn't it? For who would have thought a 57-year-old woman would wear a double-A width in a men's brown loafer? Does this mean they'll have to change it to a triple-A width? And do men's brown loafers come that narrow? The true identity of the white-winged warrior is known only by the police commissioner of Midland City, his secretary, and one other person. Hello? Hello, Mildred. Speaking? This is Emma Lechner. My goodness, Emma, where are you? I'm in town for the weekend, and I thought I'd give you a ring. Wonderful. And how's your beautiful daughter, Sadie? Beautiful as usual. And how's your handsome son, Benton? Getting better looking. And is your beautiful daughter, Sadie, married yet? As a matter of fact, no. Oh, but she's crazy from all the asking. Is your handsome son, Benton, married yet? Well, with all his work at the shoe store and everything. He's at the shoe store? Oh, yes. Listen, since tomorrow's Saturday and he ain't working, maybe he'd enjoy calling on you-know-who. But tell you the truth, I don't think he could make it. Why not? Well, he has this special extra job on weekends. Oh? Doing what? Well, he fights crime. Benton's a policeman? Well, like a policeman, except better. He's a CIO agent? No. Then what? Listen, can you keep a secret? You ask a good friend that question. All right. I'll tell you. My son, Benton... Yes? He's a chicken man. A chicken man? Yes. He sells chickens? No. He sells eggs? No. He plucks chickens? No. Then what with chickens? He makes like one. He makes like one what? Like a chicken. Listen, tomorrow he'll call on your Sadie and you'll see for yourself. We have a previous engagement tomorrow. Emma? We should stay over Sunday, which I don't think is likely. We'll drop by, but I don't think so. Emma? It was nice talking with you, and I hope Benton will be feeling better soon. Emma! Well, has Mildred Harbor gone too far? Will Sadie Lechner, a girl from a small mining town in the West, find happiness married to a wealthy, titled Englishman? During a lull in Midland City's lawlessness and or evil, the white-winged warrior takes a few minutes on a Saturday afternoon to make a call on a former classmate. Yes? Hello, Mrs. Lechner. Who are you? It's Benton. Benton Harper. Well, how come you're all dressed up like that? Well, you see, on weekends, I strike terrific terror. Please, the hearts... come in. Oh, thank you. Take a chair. I'll tell my beautiful daughter, Sadie, you're here. Thank you. Sadie, I want you to go take a peek in the other room. What for? Just take a peek. What's that big chicken doing sitting in our living room chair? Remember the little boy you used to go to PS42 with, the Harbor boy? Benny Harper? Yeah, that's him. And he turned into a chicken? It's a costume. He's probably come to take you to a party. Go be nice to him. Hello, Benny. Hello, Sadie. It's nice to see you. Likewise. My, what a beautiful costume. Oh, thank you. So many feathers. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and look at the beautiful wings. Yes. <laughs> My goodness, you can flap them. <laughs> yes, I can. Mother, come quick and see how Benny <laughs> flapped his wings. <laughs> Would you like to take a ride? You got a car, Benton? Oh, no, we'll, we'll fly. Mother, <laughs> Benny's got an airplane. 
You got an airplane bet. No, just time on my shoulder, Sadie, that's all. <laughs> And I'll just open this wind up over here. <laughs> now, don't fly too high with my Sadie, Benton. Oh! Where does the winged warrior plan to fly with beautiful Sadie Lechner, the only daughter of Emma Lechner? And can Sadie, a girl from a small mining town in the West, find happiness flying with a matinee idol, secret sweetheart of millions? The office of the police commissioner of Midland City. Yes, this is the commissioner. What? Where? Hold on. Yes, Commissioner. Miss Helfinger, we must quickly summon the fantastic fowls. Who? The white-winged warrior. All right, Commissioner. And Miss Helfinger, one more thing. Yes. I don't know who he is, but I do know this. I'll as... call him, Commissioner. Yes. Hello? Hello, fantastic fowl. Who? White-winged warrior. Oh, yes, here. The Commissioner wants you to come right over right away and take care of some crime. Are those the very words the commissioner used? Uh, yes, I think so. This can mean, then, only one of four only things. What are you talking about? One, you are not Miss Helfinger, and the commissioner never said that. Two, you are Miss Helfinger, and the commissioner is sick and doesn't know what he's saying. Listen. Three, I... you are Miss Helfinger, but you've been tortured by a diabolically clever criminal so that you're out of your mind with pain, and therefore you're speaking against your will. Would you please listen? Three, four. Four, I mean, you have dialed the wrong number, and I am not chicken man. Would you believe that the commissioner said, tell the white-winged warrior the dark forces of evil are gathering for wrongdoing and we must summon the feathered fighter to strike terrific terror into the criminal hearts? The commissioner said that? Yes. How about that? Mm-hmm. He's certainly a good talker. Are you coming? You may tell the commissioner that the feathered fighter has heard his summons and will hasten to answer his desperate call so that the forces of evil will not escape unpunished. Fine, fine, And I'll that with one him. mighty blow from my enormous fist, I will reveal once again that... Cr Are you writing all this down? Yes. That crime does not pay, and that those who reek... What? Who reek. Reek? Yes, reek. Havoc. Reek havoc? Yes, reek from the verb to reek. Well, reek havoc. Where have we heard that name before? Have we heard that name before? I don't think so. What do you think? From time to time, the famed feathered fighter is called upon to make personal appearances at important Midland City civic and or social events. And such a distinguished event is the annual Midland City Father and Son Banquet. A banquet quite popular among daddies and their little boys. Yeah, what is it, Mac? How do you do? I am the wonderful white-winged weekend warrior. Oh, yeah, you're one of the acts. Come on in. Thank you. This way. Okay, now listen, you'll go on right after the magician out there, and you'll be working with her. Hello there, Feathers. Hello. What will you be doing on stage, Miss... Uh... Call me Dolores. I do a very artistic interpretive dance. What do you do? I, uh... Fly. Oh, yeah? I don't think I've ever worked with a trapeze artiste before. Yeah, what is it, lady? How do you do? I am Mildred Harbour, the winged warrior's mother. I would like to speak with my son. Oh, yeah, come on in. Thank you. Hey, uh, you with the wings. Your mother's here to talk to you. Benton Harbour. Oh, hello, mother. What are you doing in this place, Benton Harbour? Well, I'll be uh, flying, Mother, uh, while this young lady here does a very artistic uh, interpretive, interpretive dance. dance. Young lady, split. Mother, I have pledged to these good people that I would... Shh, Benton. Help me with my mask. Your what, Mother? Stage manager? Yeah. You may announce that I'll be appearing with my son. Mother, I don't think you should go out there really. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time on this stage, the Friendly Fellows Lodge number 14 is happy to present Midland City's white-winged warrior, accompanied by... What do you call yourself, lady? Mildred, the masked mother. Mildred, the masked mother? Mildred, the masked mother. 
Mother, I really don't think you should appear out there. I don't think it would be... It's a line! All right, boys, smash down the door. This way, Mother, quickly. Open up the door. Well, Midland City forces of evil, beware. For now, you must contend with two finely fashioned, familiar feathered fighters, finally.